In this video, we would be solving this question which says that suppose the utility function uxy and vxy are related by vxy is equal to f of u of x comma y. In each case below, write yes if the function f is a positive monotonic transformation and no if it is not. Hint, for calculus users, a differentiable function f of u is an increasing function of u if, it, if its derivative is positive positive. So before jumping to the subparts and solving for the utility functions, let's first learn what do you mean by positive monotonic transformation. Monotonic transformation. First thing to note here is that whenever we are talking about monotonic transformation, we are considering only positive monotonic transformation and ignoring the negative ones. So this is of no interest here. So in microeconomics, whenever I'm saying about monotonic transformation, yeah, Positive monotonic transformations are implied. So be very careful about this. After making the clarification, let's understand what do you mean by monotonic transformation or positive monotonic transformation. Your positive monotonic transformation is a way of transforming one set of numbers into another set of numbers so that the rank of the original set of numbers is preserved. It is thus a function f mapping from real numbers into real numbers which satisfy the property that if x is greater than y then f of x is also greater than f of y. Simply, it is a strictly increasing function. Now, what do you mean by that in economic terms? Thus, any positive monotonic transformation of the utility function is also a utility function representing the same preferences as the original utility function. Because such a transformation preserves the ranked order of the original utility numbers and hence the ranking order of the bundles based on the preference relation. So if I begin with the utility function ux and then use the positive monotonic transformation f to get the new function vx which is equal to f of u of x. Then vx is also a utility function representing the same preferences as the utility function ux. Also, the rate of change of f of u or vx can be measured by looking at the change in f between two values of u divided by the change in u. So, what do I mean by that? That is, change in f with respect to change in u. That would be f of u u2 minus f of u1 divided by u2 minus u1. So for mo monotonic transformation, your f of u2 minus f of u1 always has the same sign as u2 minus u1. That means this would be always positive. That is, monotonic transformation always have a positive rate of change. Which graphically means the graph of a monotonic function will always have a positive slope as depicted in this figure. So here, in panel A illustrates the monotonic transformation, the one that is always increasing. And panel B illustrates the function that is not monotonic since it increases and sometimes decreases. So here you can see it is decreasing. But here here it is increasing. So this is not a monotonic transformation whereas this panel is a monotonic transformation as it is always increasing. So after learning about the concept of monotonic transformation, let's understand if we have a utility function or if we have any kind of function then how would we, we tell that is that a monotonic transformation or not. You have two approaches with yourself. The one is by using the simple maths which in this case would not be so simple and the other is would be using your calculus approach. So your simple maths would be this there where you have to calculate this expression and see if this is positive or not. But that would be a very cumbersome method. So I would suggest you to use calculus for checking if you have a monotonic transformation or not. Now, how do we check monotonicity of a function using calculus? For that, focus on the concept which says it is a strictly increasing function or it has a positive rate of change. That means your first derivative which is your f prime x should be positive. And if I map this in this particular case that would be your v prime x should be strictly positive. 
positive now coming back to the question now let's apply the concept of positive monotonic transformation to this question so your first part says f of u is equal to 3.141592 to u and as we just learned in order to show if a function is positive monotonic transformation or not all we have to do is just calculate the first order derivative and see if it is positive or not which is something also mentioned in this hint so let's do that for that we need to differentiate f of u with respect to u as here it's a function of u so the first derivative of f of u would be f dash u or f prime u which would be nothing but 3.141592 which is greater than zero that means your f prime u or your first order derivative is positive and hence we can say that this function is a positive monotonic transformation of u x y that means the answer to this part would be yes let's come to the next part which says f of u is equal to 5000 minus 23 u so again we would be repeating the same procedure where we are calculating the first order derivative and seeing if it is positive or not that would be f prime u is equal to derivative of 5000 is 0 and derivative of minus 23 u would be minus 23 when we are differentiating it with respect to u so that would be minus 23 which is clearly less than 0 thus what we are able to get is your f f prime u is less than zero that means it is not a positive monotonic transformation or a monotonic transformation as i told you before that that here we would be using positive monotonic transformation and monotonic transformation interchangeably thus the answer to this question would be no let's see next what is the next part which is f of u is equal to u minus 100 000. so let's quickly calculate the first order derivative which is f prime u which is nothing but one as the derivative of u is 1 when we are differentiating it with respect to u and the derivative of minus 1 lakh would be 0 so that would be 1 minus 0 which is 1 and since it is greater than 0 that means your f prime u is greater than 0 which means yes it is a positive monotonic transformation of the utility function moving on to the next part which says f of u is log 10 u now note here that we have the base of 10 and thus we have to be very careful so generally speaking if you have to take the derivative of the function with respect to x where your function takes the form of log to the base a of x so that would be 1 divided by x natural log which is nothing but ln a so applying the formula here we get f prime u as 1 divided by u ln of a natural log of 10 as in this case here your a is 10 and your x is u and since this is positive that means your f prime u is positive which means yes this is a monotonic transformation so the, so the answer to this question would be yes now let's move on to the next part which says your f of u is e minus e to the power where your e is nothing but the exponential to the power of minus u so if i differentiate it i would get f prime u is equal to minus of e to the power minus u multiplied with the derivative of minus u which is minus 1 which would give us e to the power minus u which is again positive and hence we get f prime u is greater than 0 which means yes it is a monotonic transformation so the answer to this question would also be yes moving on to the next part which says your f of u is equal to 1 divided by u differentiating it i would get f prime u as minus 1 divided by u square this term is positive multiplying it by minus 1 that would be give us negative so your f prime u is less than 0 which means this is not a positive monotonic transformation hence the answer to this question would be no and your last part which says f of u is equal to minus of 1 divided by u which is so differentiating it i would get f prime u as minus derivative of 1 divided by u which is minus 1 divided by u square which is nothing but by but 1 divided by u square which is positive thus what we get is f prime u is positive and hence yes this is a positive monotonic transformation so the answer to this question would be yes 
See, the question seemed complex at first, but all we had to do is just calculate the first order derivatives and see if that first order derivative is positive or not. Also, as I discussed before, that in such cases, we would be using the calculus as it is much easier method. So that was all for this question.